Welcome to this Goddess Isis and Horus transmission. Clearing ancient Atlantean and Egyptian dark alchemy and magic. And open body, open mind. And focusing on the breath. The in-breath is the invitation of light from the universe around you. 360 degrees from the great star nation. Light into the body of bone and blood. Absorbing light. And anywhere you are holding lower frequency energies in the physical body, on the out breath, purge and release, sending it back to the light, back to the universe. Allowing more space, more space for your own soul's light in the physical body. And following that cycle of breath, on the in-breath light into the emotional body that surrounds and penetrates the physical body, a fluid field of energy. Anywhere you are holding other people's emotional energy or lower stuck energy, stagnant energy in your emotional body, on the outbreath, purge and release, sending it back to the light. Allowing more space, more light, more fluidity in the emotional body. And following that cycle of breath, inviting light on the in-breath into the mental body, a fluid field of energy that surrounds and penetrates the emotional and physical bodies. Anywhere you are holding stagnant energy in the mental body, other people's thoughts, ideas, opinions, judgments, belief systems that does not serve you on the outbreath, sending it back to the light, back to the universe. Allowing more space for your own soul's light in the mental body. And following that cycle of breath, as I call your teams in spirit of the highest light and resonance, your higher selves from the sixth to the twelfth dimension, your monadic self, the oversoul, all 5D to 12D helpers, guides, angels, archangels, star beings, star races, star councils, specialist teams in spirit working with you. Come be with you now, come be with you now. And we invite especially all those teams such as psychic surgeons angels and beings of light who work with releasing and neutralizing black magic.
And let's call the Archangels of the Horizontal Plane. Beginning in the east, the place of the rising sun, with Archangel Raphael, Archangel of Air of the Mind. The symbol of this angel is a crystal wand. And the energy is emerald green fire. As you focus on the wand, calling that fire into your space, to hold your space, your personal space. To the south is Michael, Archangel of the Element of Fire, Archangel of the Will, Protector Angel. The symbol of this angel is a sword of flaming blue light. And the energy is electric blue fire. As you focus on the symbol, inviting the energy of this angel into your field to hold the space. To the west is Gabriel, Archangel of Water, of Emotions. The symbol is a silver chalice. And the energy, diamond white fire. As you focus on that symbol, inviting that fire into the space to hold your space. To the north is Uriel, Archangel of Earth, of Structure, of Spiritual Law. The symbol of this angel is a golden pentacle. And the energy is ruby red fire. As you focus on that symbol, inviting that fire into the space to hold your space. Four Archangels, four energies, and open. And let's call the Archangels of the Vertical Plane, Metatron and Sandophon. calling to Metatron to bring that light down from the great central sun, the Christ grid, through the stargate of our sun. Down into this dimension of the earth plane. down into the structure of the building you're in. Infusing the walls around you with gold light.
allowing that gold light to spread out to the ceiling above you and the floor beneath you. Sealing the space, closing it off from dark force interference. And let's call to Sandophon from the below space to bring the crystalline grid of the earth up into the structure of the building you're in. Up to the room you're in, grounding the whole building and the room into the earth. up to the feet, grounding your energy into the crystalline grid. Six archangels, six energies and open. And we call now to the goddess Isis. And also to her son Horus, a bright warrior aspect from the great central sun, to work together in this transmission. We also call to other helpers. the sister of Isis, Nethys. We call to violet fire angels, ultraviolet fire angels. Angels working with Michael. Davis working with Sandophon. Archangels from the sun, central sun and great central sun. Psychic Surgeons Atlantean Ascended Beings Beings from Sirius following the Law of One Calling for all of this help and allow the goddess to hold you with her golden wings, to embrace you with those wings. And as she does so, she calls on the archangels from the three suns, the sun of our solar system, the Pleiadian central sun, and the great central sun of Sirius to create a large protective sphere of gold solar light around you. And Horus, a being of brilliant golden white light, steps into this large sphere and faces you.
Horus calls now violet and ultraviolet fire angels to project their energy into the sphere, filling the sphere with a brilliant violet and ultraviolet fire. If you have any agreements with the Atlantean civilization and the Egyptian civilization that limits you in any way, Horus calls them forth from your energy field now. In front of you are scrolls. Horus now takes these agreements and rips them up and burns them in fire, clearing them through all minds, all bodies, all timelines, all dimensions from your being in Akashic Records. Releasing all karmic energies associated with these agreements into the fire Horus brings now. Seeing Horus holding in his hands a ball of brilliant fire. burning agreements and burning all karmic energies in your field associated with those agreements. Isis and Horus work together to close any openings in your field that make you vulnerable to psychic attack. The goddess Isis hands you a hooded cloak of golden solar light to wrap around you, protecting you during this transmission. Horus and Isis call upon Sandophon in the earth below to assist you in releasing you from any Atlantean corrupted grids in the earth. Detaching your energy fields from corrupt grids in the earth. Detaching your base chakra. Detaching your feet chakras. And anywhere else you feel connected to any corrupt grids. Feeling yourself connected more fully to the crystalline grid of the earth.
Horus calls on the archangels of the three sons, also psychic surgeons, and angels working with Michael, to focus their attention on your base chakra. Clearing and releasing from the base with golden light. Any other lifetime blood magic in the base chakra. Anywhere you have been involved in blood rituals, blood magic, blood spells. Releasing these from the base chakra. Clearing the base with gold light, all layers, levels, dimensions. Horus calls on the archangels of the three sons, psychic surgeons and angels work with Michael to focus their attention on your sacral chakra. To release anything in the sacral related to sexual magic, sexual spells. burning through the chakra, releasing with gold light. Horus calls on the angels of the three suns, psychic surgeons, and angels working with Michael to release any other lifetime black magic spells or curses sent or received that's still touching your energy fields. Releasing any spells that were created with perhaps seemingly positive intentions but are now experienced as negative, such as ill-conceived love spells and ill-conceived manifestation spells. Clearing also anything touching you via the ancestral lines. Horus calls on all of this assistance, Archangels of the Three Sons, plus angels working with Michael and psychic surgeons to begin to clear and remove any dark 
entity attachment or any parasitical attachment to your fields, burning them with golden light and releasing them away from your field. clearing any roots or anything burrowing into your energy field. Clearing it out to the core of it and burning it. Horus calls upon Sandophon and all Davic beings working with Sandophon to assist you in releasing you from any elemental beings that have been bound and coerced by black magic force to do you harm. releasing any of this from your energy fields, sending it back to the crystalline grid of the earth for clearing and healing. And breathe and open, breathe and open. Allowing the work to continue. And Horus calls on the angels of the three sons, angels working with Michael and psychic surgeons, to pull out any and all astral energies. Dark crystals, dark objects, symbols, sigils, hieroglyphs, any etheric darts or blades in your field. destroying any etheric restraints. Clearing all of this out from your field, burning it in gold fire. Destroying all of it and any black magic associated with it.
gold light, also assisted with violet and ultraviolet fire burning through your field. Clearing any corruption, any blood or sexual magic, any spells or curses, any entity attachments, any dark elemental beings, and any astral energies out from your field. And Horus now calls upon all of his assistants to begin to pull out from your field any negative imprints, negative thought forms, imprints and thought forms of fear and terror, including the fear of being attacked by black magic, or hurt or harmed or killed by black magic. any negative imprints of helplessness or powerlessness from any other lifetime where you have been targeted by black magic. any negative imprints of guilt or remorse for being involved in black magic. Any negative imprints of failure by feeling unable to stop black magic groups overrunning Atlantis and Egypt. Allowing this purging, a deep purging, gold supported by violet and ultraviolet fire, clearing your field. Horus calls on the goddess Nephthys, sister of Isis, and all beings working with her to go now and find any trapped aspect of your soul light. To find and release any soul fragment locked in the lower astral dimensions due to trauma including black magic interference or death by black magic. and Nephthys has the ability to fly in all realms as a hawk, searching and finding parts of your soul. Releasing them, bringing them back to Isis,
releasing them to the goddess, who holds all soul parts in her wings. allowing the process to continue. Allowing gold fire, violet and ultraviolet fire to burn brightly in the sphere. absorbing this into the body of bone and blood. allowing this gold violet deep into the cellular memory of the body and deep into the DNA, releasing and burning what needs to be released and burnt. And as this process of deep cleansing is happening, Horus calls a great golden ankh in his hands of brilliant solar light. And begin to place a golden ankh in front of each chakra from third eye down to sacral. and all the way down, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral. Horus also places a brilliant solar light ank at the back of your field from third eye down to sacral. He then places one above your crown and one below the base.
Horus now calls in his hands a white crystalline radiant ank and begins to place this in all of the openings in the head, sealing all openings in the head, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth. Also calling a white crystalline ank, sealing the belly button, the anus and genitals, closing all openings to lower force interference. Isis and Horus now call on all Atlantean and Assyrian ascended beings who are connected to the law of one to reconnect you to the truth and light of your nature and of this ancient spiritual path. And Horus, with a gentle bow, steps out of the sphere, bidding a decrease in the energy in the sphere of gold and violet fire. Isis leaves to take all soul fragments to a temple of healing.
thanking all beings who have held this transmission. The goddess Nethys, sister of Isis, with the bow leaves you now. All violet fire, ultraviolet fire angels leave you now. All archangels of the three suns leave you now. Thanking all angels of the vertical and horizontal planes for holding the space. Allowing this transmission to continue inside of you in this protective golden sphere. And this transmission is offered to you, as always, with love and blessings, love and blessings.